Revelation 2208 From the 10th of January 1942 Spiritual teachings require prayer for God's grace. Every spiritual instruction brings the earthly child an inconceivable blessing as soon as the serious prayer for God's grace has preceded it and thus makes his grant of grace possible. God wants to bestow his grace upon the human being, and it is an incomprehensible grace when he wants to make him knowledgeable and imparts his teachings to him. But the human being is not always willing to receive his grace, he is not always willing to be taught or to take what is offered to him into his heart. Divine grace, however, can only take effect on the human being when he desires it, that is requests it through heartfelt prayer. The teachings that God sends to people are so extraordinarily revealing and enlighten the human spirit. Everything he could not understand before becomes comprehensible to him, his striving for ascent becomes considerably easier because he recognizes the meaning and purpose of earthly life. He becomes aware of his outcome and also of his goal. And can now cover his earthly path in accordance with his knowledge, that is beneficially for eternity. This is an undeserved grace, a gift which is based on God's love but which will never ever be given to a person who does not respect such a gift of grace, who does not desire it, who therefore does not consciously request it from God through prayer. And therefore so many people come away empty-handed, they cannot be given divine wisdom, they cannot receive his instructions for they do nothing in order to partake of divine grace, they do not appeal to him for it, although God wants to offer it to them time and again, thus informing them through human mouths of his greater than great love and mercy. The reference to this is meant to motivate people to trustingly turn to him for the transmission of his grace. They should come to the Father like children and present their weakness and spiritual hardship to him and they should appeal to him for strength and power so that he can now distribute his grace in abundance, so that he can instruct them and impart purest knowledge to them. Then their reward will be the richest blessings, they will mature spiritually and increase their knowledge, they will be able to gather and distribute spiritual possessions as long as they live on earth, and one day they will be able to enter eternity with rich treasures and they will resist every temptation, for if knowledge is imparted to them, strength will also flow to them, for knowledge is light and strength. And thus they will also be able to offer resistance to every temptation. They will desire God ever more sincerely and strive ever more eagerly towards him the more they make use of his divine grant of grace. What they desire, they will not let lie fallow. They will also want to bless their fellow human beings with what has become dear and valuable to them. They will pass on the teachings they have received with love, and if heartfelt prayer accompanies this work, it will be blessed. Amen.